So guys, Microsoft launched Windows 11 version 2.3 S2 first build and this is inside Canary channel. So currently it is in testing mode and let's see what new features coming in this build. So if you want to download the ISO, you can go to this link in description. You can choose this Canary build 25905. After that, you can download the ISO. Okay, so let's see what are the new features in this build. First feature is related to your file explorer. Just open your file explorer. Now you will see here gallery option in this build. In this gallery, you can open your any images folder. So it will show you images according to years in the right side as you can see. So this looks cool and if you scroll it will give you a smooth scrolling. From collections you can choose any folder from where you want to show all the images in your gallery. Another update is dynamic lighting. So just type here dynamic lighting. Click on this change lighting colors and brightness and here you will see new settings like use dynamic lighting on my devices. So turn on this. Currently some devices are supported these settings. If you have those devices it is going to give you best experience so you can control control your RGB from here. Effect is like gradient or wheel, wave, rainbow, breathing or solid color. So solid color is like just navigate it and you can set any solid color. So you don't need any third party dedicated RGB software. So this is a great improvement from Microsoft. Another new feature is related to developers. So if you are a developer, so you can secure your project in your Dave drive. Type your Dave drive. So this setting is inside storage and disk and volumes. Basically this is for developers. You can store your repository or any source code whatever you are using for your coding so that is going to be more secure here so basically this drive is virtual drive so it is based on refs system so resilient file system so this is basically optimized for developer so you can click here create and if you are a developer you already know it how to do it so you can just choose here create a new vhd you can give the path and name and give the size minimum 50 gb you can give below that you can't create so if you are a developer you already know it how to create it i just want to tell you this is a new setting they have added in this build another update is related to fixing your windows update so just go to recovery section and recovery you will see new option here like fix problems using windows update so basically what it does reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved it will basically upgrade your system if it is not upgraded and if already upgraded and you are in a latest version it is going to reinstall that update and that is going to fix all the problems related to windows so basically just click here reinstall now and it will give you option like we will repair components and system files so i will cover this process in further videos so basically if you have windows 11 version 23s2 in future you are going to fix problems very easily related to your windows another new app they added here like a backup and restore so it is called windows backup so you can back up your folders apps and settings and all credentials basically if you are moving from one system to another so you can do this for this it is required microsoft account right so just click here backup and it is going to back up all your data whenever you are going to use this app in other system you can get all the backup in that system without any kind of problem another update related to your microsoft store app so this app is going to get ai feature in this store so as you can see ai hub is now available so basically this is a dedicated section for ai apps so you can use it to get all the ai apps here so as you can see we have age with Bing chat and we have some descript app it is going to create a video on the basis of a script so this is a great move by Microsoft so they are bringing AI to their product and services so this is really cool right another new improvement related to your emojis section now you will see here 3d emojis with gradient all the emojis in 3d and have some gradient so this is really really cool so guys these are the new features in this update I hope you like this update so let me know in the comments which feature you like most